Hi guys, well I am back with a video about my big chop. Now I told you in my last video that my birthday was coming up in a couple of days and I really had set a goal to do my big chop on my birthday. That way I'd have a definite date in mind that I didn't have to try to strain and remember. And then I kept saying, well, I don't want chicken out. Sorry, I'm out of breath. I was just running from the other room. But anyway, and I also told you, and I apologize ahead of time, that if I did the big chop, I was going to record it. Well, this is what happened. I went to go get in the shower, washed my hair. I did a pre-treatment with some vinegar and water because I had a lot of product on my hair. And uh, when I got out of the shower, I thought, well, I'll just cut off a little, you know, just trim the ends. Well, I took a section of hair, cut a piece off, and then thought, I'll just cut the whole thing. Well, <laughs> I was in the bathroom. My bathroom here is almost as small as my one in the RV. So running to go get the computer, blah, 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 blah. That was not going to work. And then my husband, I was taking so long, my husband said, what are you doing? And he opened the door and I'm in there with these. Mm -hmm. See these? Brand new. I bought them a while ago, anticipating the big job. So anyway, um, it's done. It is. I did it. I did it. Now, if you think back, uh, just a couple of, one video back, I had my husband measure my hair and on the crown, it was 12 inches, right? So it is cut. It is done. <laughs> it's done. And after I got finished, we measured it uh, and I cut it. I tried to cut it just below um, where my natural hair started, just above where my natural hair started to try to make sure I got off all of the relaxed hair. And he measured it on the crown and it is exactly six inches. Isn't that something? So I lost half my hair. I had half processed hair, half natural hair. And so now it's in these little tiny Bantu knots. See? They're not, the, the parts aren't perfect. Because I, I did it with my fingers. But I got to tell you, I didn't feel any hesitation. I just wanted to get it done. You know, I was tired of the two textures and I just want to get it done. Now I'm not going to be able to wear my hair like I have been doing in my go-to styles that I have been doing, but I have been studying up and looking at different styles that I can do with shorter hair. Also, I wanted to say after I washed it, um, I just sectioned the front off. I put the rest of it back in a bun and I split the front in half and then I split the sides in three halves and I put this on here. This is Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strength and Grow and Restore Leave-In Conditioner. So I did that because if I, I find that if I put a little product on my hair it's easier for me to see where the processed hair started. So I did that and then I used my um, uh, Michelle Mercier brush to brush out that section of my hair and it caused my natural hair pattern to draw up. And so then what all what it was left was the strings. So I took that, I took my little scissors and I cut just above where the strings were. So anyway, I'll take one out now and show you <laughs> what this looks like. It's still wet though, cause I just did it, but you see how short it is now? Oh my gosh, look at that. It is little. It's little, but it feels so much better, but it's, it is little, but it feels very soft and healthy when I, um, and what I'll do is as I go along, if I find any other little strings, I'll go ahead and cut those off. But, um, so I'll be able to do wash and goes because <laughs> I can't do much else. I'm just going to have to go wash and go, y'all, because I ain't going to be able to do a whole lot else with it. So I'll just put it back in this little Bantu knot and leave it like this. I put the um, pins there to help it from, keep it from unwinding. But let me show you the top one. 
This is the one that we measured because this was my longest piece of hair. It is six inches and I have cut off all of the relaxer that I could find. So this is much how much natural hair I have. Cool, huh? So I'm happy with it. I don't have, I don't feel any apprehension like, oh my God, what did I do? I hate it. I don't feel like that. Uh, hopefully I won't feel like that tomorrow when I take it out and try to do something with it. Oh, anyway, leave your comments below. Let me know what you think. And when I do take it out and style it or whatever, I will take a picture or something and send it to you guys so that you can see. And um, there you go. So I did it. I did the big chop. I don't have no more relaxer left. There might be one little string here or there somewhere on my head that I didn't catch, but I'll catch it. And um, anyway, let me know what you think. I'm glad I got that done. So January the 12th, I'm starting a brand new journey with brand new hair. No relaxed hair as much as I could tell. And uh, we'll go from here. So anyway, thanks for stopping by. And for those of you that this is your first time to my channel, thank you very much. Welcome to the Silver Crown. And um, be sure to hit the subscribe button and click on the little bell. It'll ask you if you want to receive updates. Click that box, uh, put a check box in there, a check mark in that box, and you will get updates every time I do a video. So let's go from here because this is kind of like I'm starting a new journey. And for those that are returning client, uh, 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 viewers, thank you so much for hanging with me. This is my one year mark and I am so pleased that you're still here. And uh, we'll go from here and see what happens next. Because uh, now, you and me, you, you and me, you and me, we got to think up some new hairstyles now because I can't do what I used to do. All right. Thanks for coming by. I'll see you next time. Bye.